News and a disturbing new report about a census worker found dead in Kentucky. The man was discovered with a rope around his neck. He was tied to a tree and his feet were on the ground. We've known that now for several days. Today, the coroner confirmed that the word fed was written on his body. Authorities do not know or won't say if it was a murder or a suicide, but tonight new information may answer that question. David Mattingly is working this story for us. David, uh, what do we know? Anderson, the body of census worker Bill Sparkman was found on September 12th. There was a rope around his neck. He was tied to a tree limb. And tonight, new details from the Associated Press indicate that what investigators found was much more disturbing than that. The AP is reporting that Bill Sparkman's body was found naked. His hands and feet were bound with duct tape. There was duct tape over his eyes and neck. He was gagged, and something that looked like an ID tag was taped to the side of his neck. Now, these details are reportedly coming from an eyewitness who was among the people who found Sparkman's body. We attempted to contact that person tonight, but we were not successful. We were, however, able to reach the Kentucky State investigators who are still not willing to confirm any of this de these details. It is explained to me that they do not want to put out any information that might affect their investigation. And tonight, they are still saying they have not nailed down exactly how Bill Sparkman died. They know the preliminary cause of death is asphyxiation, but they still won't say if it's murder. Of course, the options of suicide and this being an, an accident would seem very unlikely, Anderson, given these latest details from the AP. But what about these reports that the word fed was written on Sparksman's body? We got confirmation of that today from the Clay County Coroner. He said that the word fed was written on the body in felt tip marker, but he would not go any further than that. He would not say where on the body, how large these letters were. We were asking those kinds of questions because we want to know if someone perhaps was sending a message that they attacked Sparkman because he was a federal employee. But we did confirm that the word fed was written somewhere on his body. We've been very careful over the last several days in our reporting on this not to jump to any conclusions or speculation. What does the FBI now say? Well, yesterday they were cautioning not to jump to any conclusions on this because they have not confirmed that this was a murder. They have not confirmed that this man was attacked and killed because he was a federal employee. That has to happen before the FBI will take over this investigation. So we're relying on what the K Kentucky state investigators are telling us, and they are going by the book. They are not confirming any of this information only to say that this man, that they're investigating this man's death and they're not ruling out anything at this point. David Madden, I appreciate the details. Thanks. Let's dig deeper. Joining us now, Brian Levin, director of the Center for the Study of Hayden Extremism at California State University, San Bernardino. Uh, Brian, w we don't know uh, why somebody would have killed this man or exactly what happened to this man. What do you see now, given the AP's report about duct tape and gags and the word fed being scrolled on his body, what is that? What are the options in terms of what could have happened? Great question. And initially, look, we're looking at several things. Someone with just a severe violent disorder uh, could be just an amorphous anger. Uh, an anti-government extremist, uh, that's another person that's looking more and more likely. But again, there's a lot that we don't know. Uh, third, it could be someone who's uh, an illegal drug runner, pot farmer in the rural area who felt that this guy was somehow getting too close to their illegal operations. Uh, and lastly, it could be someone with some personal animus against Mr. Sparkman who is trying to cover it up by suggesting a political motivation for it. Uh, so those are the, you know, the four basic things we could look at. But at this point, uh, this was such a symbolic and personal anger that uh, I'm, I'm led to, to lean towards uh, someone who has severe anti-government feelings, perhaps someone who's seeking revenge. Uh, maybe they were audited or had some problem with uh, okay. some well, kind of government official. To, to display the victim in this way um, seems, uh, I mean, telling one way or another. I mean, it, it, there, there's clearly something to that. It's a lynching. I mean, I mean quite simply, it's a lynching. The, the issue is, um, was this something that, you know, is a politically motivated lynching? Or was there some other nefarious personal motive uh, playing into this picture here? And again, you could have someone who's an illegal operator of a pot farm who's also an anti-government extremist. Uh, uh, but again, I mean, this was a highly symbolic act. And if these facts that are alleged are true, it causes me to lean uh, towards some kind of you know, anti-government extremist 
But again, everything's on the table. We let the evidence take us where we're going, not the analyst. Uh, Brian Levin, I appreciate you being on. There's still a lot we do not know. We're uh, being very cautious in what we're uh, reporting on this and what we're saying. Brian, I appreciate your time. Thank you.